I'm Liberty Langlois, and I went to the Tech and Design Institute. My name is Dorian Lester, and I also attended the Tech and Design Institute. I think I, I really enjoyed the quality of education that was offered there. Like it was, it was obviously way more laid back than a class, but I still learned a lot. I, I, I learned how to make a game in two days, and that was really amazing. My favorite thing there was the, uh, the RAs especially were very helpful for me with my anxiety. I wasn't used to being away from home, especially being that far from my house, so they were very helpful and very useful for my anxiety, and when they brought in the uh, therapy dogs, it helped me a lot. So many different types of people. You can often boil down uh, people into like common stereotypes and you could find all of them there. There were more sporty people, there were a lot of theater kids, a lot of nerds, just about anything you could think of. And it was great because everyone more or less actually got along. I got to take a just flat out game design class where they taught us the very basics of making assets, programming, all of that. Um, I also took a vector illustration course, which was very familiar to me. I got to draw with shapes. My favorite tech and design thing that I did was the creative writing class, because I'm not very good at writing. I'm poor at English. <laughs> you giggle. The teacher didn't tell me anything about my grammar or anything. He just let me write creatively what was in my head, and that's what he told me to do. Just write what you're thinking at that moment. There were a lot of like uh, evening activities. I got to take a workshop on how to code a top-down shooter, which is basically where all of the scripting for my game came from. There was a night where we did, it was like zombie tag. There were uh, glow sticks and everyone got to make like glow stick jewelry and chase each other around in the dark. It was great. Yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I got to talk to a lot of interesting people and it's just great experience. Don't ever put yourself down with your art because you're always going to have bad art. You're always going to have something that you don't seem as perfect. Put that art away and then come back to it later because later on you'll look at it and you say, hey, I could probably do something better and make that art a bit better. I have kept all of my old sketchbooks that I've had from 2017 and I look at the old art and especially if I'm having a really slow art week, I pick one of them and I remake it to see my progress, to see how much I've grown as an artist myself. Sophomore year, I applied for a tech center and I've loved that ever since. I've done Governor's Institute. I've done tons of like extracurricular competitions and school events. And it's just really helped to like sort of broaden my horizons and really uh, prepare me for future ahead.